Next into the tank is an entrepreneur from Victoria who is hoping the Sharks will award her business Best in Show. Ah! Hi, my name's Melanie. I'm 38 and I'm a professional dog groomer. My greatest passion in life is my dogs and, of course, dog grooming. My name's Corey, I'm Mel's husband. Well, this used to be my pool room. As you can see now, it's uh, converted <laughs> into a stock room for our business. Do I take better care of my dogs than Corey? Yes. <laughs> I've put my name onto my product because it's my reputation and I've got a really good reputation within the industry. We won best of breed today and I'm so proud of my little dash. Good boy. What's going on? Come on. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, look at you. How cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that dog. That dog is so cute. Oh, my God. You want to get up? Because you've got a red one. Aren't you cute? Come on, up here. So, Steve, how many of the dogs love being with you? <laughs> <laughs> OK, you can sit there. Melanie, hi. Hi. <laughs> Melanie is my second, third cousin, fourth cousin, maybe fifth. I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> really? Yes. So I thought I'd just declare that. Oh. <laughs> so you didn't know she was coming on the show. There you go. No. Amazing. <laughs> I know. Hi, Sharks. My name's Melanie Newman. This is my husband, Corey, and my Bichon Dash. Today we're seeking $150,000 for 20% of our business. So we owned a professional dog grooming salon in Melbourne for 14 years. And during that time, we could never find a product to 100% comfortable with to recommend and use on our clients. I'm a professional dog groomer and I've travelled the world competing. As a dog groomer, my hands were constantly irritated from the chemicals within grooming products. So we created our own using plant-derived ingredients, sulphate-free, coconut base and completely uh, scented with essential oils. So we have four varieties of products. We have a, a shampoo, a conditioner, a cologne and a coat conditioning spray. We launched 18 months ago and we've been quite successful. We've, so far to date we've um, sold $168,000 worth of product in our first year with a $55,000 profit. Currently we have approximately 60 stockers stocking our retail range and we have approximately 80 groomers using our bulk five litre varieties, and it's growing weekly. Dog cologne. Just confirming you're looking for $150,000 for 20%, and basically this is sort of toxic free or organic dog shampoo. That's what yeah, we're talking about, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's all plant derived ingredients. Plant derived ingredients, yeah. okay. So there's competitions for, for comb and dogs? Yeah, scissoring, and hand yes. Scissoring. Yeah. So I, I'm a hand scissorer, so. That's what I do. I travel the world competing. I recently got a first place in Belgium, grooming these dogs, Bichon Frises. OK, yep. amazing. Now, do you want to get down? What's, what's going on? So you guys have walked through an occasional big pet store that I might be associated with. <laughs> Such as Pet Barn. Thank you very much. <clears throat> There's only a certain amount of shelf space available. Why is this going to outsell everything else? Our products were designed in a grooming salon. So we, we trialled and tested probably for uh, over I, a year. I reckon I've used most pet shampoos and a lot of companies do use harsh synthetic chemicals. So, so it annoys the, the skin of the dog at the end of the day? Yes, but our particular blends are very calming and soothing for the dog. got a um, Spoodle, Dexter, the head of security. Yeah. Big, tough boy that he is, but he's got very sensitive skin. And I hate to admit this on national television, but I've taken to using organic human products. Yeah. Um, and just a tiny touch. Do you want to give her a quick lecture on that? <laughs> well, but this is what we do, because I was seeing how irritated he was getting from the, from the pet products. I didn't know what to do. So what's wrong with using human organic the, products? The pH. Oh, the mate, yeah. yeah. Strips out a lot of your oils and they actually makes it worse. But now you can use ours because ours are all human grade ingredients. Right, so you could eat it if you wanted. You can eat it. You could. Just check it. I've tried it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
how long does it take you to make a batch and how big is that batch through this manufacturer? Our capacity is 40,000 litres per month. 40,000 litres, so yeah. how many bottles of this? 80,000. 80,000 bottles, month. right. So you can scale pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. You can scale So what's 40,000 cost you, what do you sell them for? Uh, they retail for twenty nine ninety five. So this dog. Oh, uh, that's twenty four ninety five. The sprays. So it's about twenty five bucks average for yep. the bottle. Yeah, okay, right. And what are you, what, are you, what what's the cost you to make? It costs us about six six ninety to make. So, sorry, what are you on track to do this year in terms of sales? Well, our forecast was two hundred and twenty thousand. That's not massive growth, is it? That's not massive. You're one sixty eight to two twenty. It's not. You're not shooting yeah, the lights well, out. We're hoping for more, but we're, we're trying, we're trying we're to try do realistic. Yeah. Yeah. We sat down with our accountant and we wanted to set an achievable goal in the first year and. Sort of grow. Oh, but the count's going to the count's going to give you a gutless goal. What's what's your goal? We think we could double that, so you can go for about about three fifty ish. Yeah. Maybe not this year, but the year after. Melanie, I'm really glad that you have provided our community with this product. I think you've done a sterling job, a really sterling job. I will be a customer, but it's not an investment for me. Okay, I'm out. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> I like what you're trying to do and I, and I get the passion and I definitely see there's a problem and you've solved it. I, I wish you well, but I'm not the right partner for you. But I'm out. Okay. No, thanks. Hey, uh, hey uh, look, I've, I've really enjoyed the pitch, Melanie and Corey. I'm gonna let you know where I'm at. Uh, one part of me is really happy you're getting some success. One part of me is really sad that such a thing called dog grooming cologne actually exists. Yeah. <laughs> look, I wish you all the best in your journey and, and good luck, but I'm out. Thank you so thanks, much. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank time. you. My big concern with you guys is you're about to scale up, which means you've got to add some, some uh, maturity to the business. And, yep. and, and that means costs. So real people on real wages, real rents. Yep. And it's going to absolutely destroy any semblance of profit in this business for some yep. time. Yes. So look, I'm going to throw you an offer. And, and you know, I've looked at your numbers and going, okay, it's all about gross profit. What's going to drop out the bottom when we put real costs in there, like wages and rents? Yep. And, and, um, you know, really, you don't have any profit, guys. So, look, my offer, based on the information you've provided, uh, is 150k for 50% of your company. <laughs> True to form. True to form. There you go. Mate, you've done the numbers. You've done the numbers. Bottom feeding, mate. So, Steve's out, I'm out, Naomi's out. Janine, you got any counter? You've got a um, you've got a really good business, and you and what I like about it is that you've got the authenticity to make this a success. You've you know you live it and breathe it. But I have a rule that I don't uh, do business with family or friends. Yeah. Uh, a really big rule because yeah. that means that friends, if I do business with friends and I have in the past, they haven't been friends in the future. It's really sad. And also with family, I mean, I've had family not talk to me for three months for things. It's not fun. I understand completely. But you've only seen it three times in the last 15 but saying, years. But saying that, <laughs> I love your product. I would do you a deal, but I need Glenn. Yep. I yep. need Glenn for his expertise and his background and all of that. Yeah. Um, I'm based in Melbourne. Uh, yeah. And um, I think that I could actually really sort of assist, but I need him with his contacts and his know-how. So I will make you an offer, but I can't actually change the offer because I want to go in with Glenn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for Janine, but I don't need her. <laughs> Dog groomer Melanie is Janine's cousin. Really? And she's seeking $150,000 for a 20% share of her dog grooming products. Glenn threw her a bone. 150k for 50% of your company. <laughs> but cousin Janine quickly barked up. I would do you a deal, but I need Glenn. I've got a lot of respect for Janine, but I don't need her. You do need me in the sense of mentoring Mel and working with them on a daily basis with marketing and also really working on the infrastructure and being based in the same state. I think I can add a lot of value. See, I, I agree with that. If I could see you as an independent, I believe that there is a conflict. I don't want the fact that you are family. To Mate, we're not that close. No, no offence. Yeah, no. <laughs> Melanie, what do you think? We need to have a little talk about it. 
Yeah. Can Sharon come with us and someone yeah. stand there? Yeah, uh, okay, I'll sort the dog out. Um, Glenn, I'd be good. I know We'd you be would. good together. I don't need you. I know you don't need me, but I could... Well, actually, you do need me. What am I saying? You do need me. Like, I would love Janine because I know what she does. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some good stuff come from her. But then I think, um, family... Like, I, I, I would personally... Yeah. yeah. I do not... I don't know Mel from Adam, to be honest. I, I saw her as a little girl. We have I've had nothing to do with her. I know her sister. You look good up there with that dog. I that don't great. know Mel. I actually don't know her. So what about 40 and 10 per cent? With Janine? Yeah. Yeah. 40 per cent, 10 per cent. Ooh. Can we... Can I have a little bit more? You sound like a dolphin, not a shark. <laughs> no, I actually, I love the product. Yeah, 40, 10. I don't think they'll give you half their business. What about give him 40, you keep 40 and give Janine 20 and up the price? 35, 15, Janine. She, she's got to go 50%. Seriously, the amount of work we're going to do. So you've got an offer from Glenn for 50% for 150000 and Janine's trying to get in on the deal. They've both been arguing the hell out of it. You've gone out there to have a think. What did you come up with? Can I, before you say anything, um, Glenn and I did chat. I wanted to actually go half of whatever he offers. Uh, he's not prepared to go half, the little cherub, um, but he's prepared to do 35% and I'll take 15%, which I agree with. So the offer that's currently on the table at the moment is 35% with Glenn and 15% with me. But just so you know, though, you can actually just take Glenn on your own if you want. OK. And the decision is? It's a big deal. <laughs> it is. It's huge. It's massive. So, yes, we'll take the 15 and the 35. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Pleasure. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Thank well done. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. So pleased and so happy. Yeah, the two sharks yeah. that we really wanted to get. We're really, really looking forward to working with them both. I'm, re I'm actually really excited. Yeah. It's a mongrel of a business to get there, right? <laughs> <laughs>